ignore every tier list you see ignore all the nonsense about who's the meta and who's the best character about who's toxic and giant and androids play the character you want to play in this game i am a prolific giant character user the reason i picked giants wasn't by some active choice i entered a local tournament and somebody had picked giant grade 8 baby and i said wow okay this must be a, a weird pick i thought giants weren't that good and i lost a grade 8 baby and my wife told me in earnest she said hey guess what i need you to pick the giant characters in order to get things going if you pick the giant characters things will get a lot better for you so i picked the giant character i picked willow and then after I pick Willow, I noticed everybody else started picking Willow. I started pulling the grab spam and they pick Willow and giant characters became the biggest issue for a lot of people. And I grasp that. I understand that. I understand that giant characters became a big issue for a bunch of other people. But I want to tell you this right now. There are so many characters in this game. There are a, a nonsensical amount of characters. This is the team with three giants. You want to steal this team and play three giants? Go all neat. Go all, go all right. But let's say... You, wanna, you don't want to do that. You can pick the entire Ginyu Force because their DP costs are lowered to where you can pick the entire Ginyu Force. You can play them. You can play Raditz. You can play Raditz, Nappa. You can play Vegeta as well. And you can have him in there as well. You can pick maybe even Raccoon or maybe even Zarbon. You can have a fun team right there. There is a, a great variety of teams. You can pick two fives and run a team of two, two, and one and get to 15. You can run Goku Super, right? You can run Goku Super. Then you can get Vegeta Super. And, and I'm not that good with Vegeta, so I don't really run Vegeta Super all that much. But you get these two characters and then you get a two a two and a one like master roshi maybe even videl or spobovich you get those characters going and rocking like that well then guess what you have a full team of people that you can play with you have a full team that doesn't include any giants no androids nothing like that and i know what you're gonna say well that, i don't want to play with the twos or the ones i want to play a team of four dp battle mode rewards the fact that you play with five people it rewards your ability to construct a team using characters that may not be conventional it rewards that it it relies on a downtrodden characters you thought you were going to go online and see a bunch of oh maybe he playing hit or jiren or people playing vegeto or something of that variety they're learning the fundamental skills in order to play the game. They're learning the fundamentals of how to operate and play the game. And I want to tell you this really right now. If you want to play Bojack, pick Bojack. If you want to play this Majin Buu, who is my favorite character in the entirety of Dragon Ball Z, pick this Majin Buu. If you want to run Fat Buu, if you want to run Maju, who I think is the worst character, go nuts. If you want to run Zamasu, who I now am finding a newfound respect for because he has after him respect and mortal body and all these fun moves, then run this Zamasu, run Goku Black, and go crazy. You could run that team. You could go nuts. You go crazy with this team. You can have a fun time playing this team. You actually have Fuse Zamasu as a character now, and you have Spopovich, and you go crazy. You could run this team right now. You could go crazy. You could do that. That's something you could do. There are so many, there are over 180 characters in this game, 182 I believe, including transformations. If we're talking about transformations, that is counts as separate characters because they feel like different separate characters. I know a lot of people are saying, there's not even 180 characters in the game, bro. Each character mation, each singular transformation feels like an entirely different character. That's how they count the characters. That's how it operates. I tell you this with my whole chest. Play who you want to play on DP battle mode too. Figure out a way to get to the character you want to play. Figure out a way to get to there. I want to play as these characters, so I'm going to play as these characters. That's what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to encounter a Willow or a Giant, and I'm probably going to get knocked back to S3, and that's okay. I'm probably going to lose, but I'm here to learn the game and learn how to have fun with the game and learn how to be better at the game. That's what I'm going to encounter. And I am playing Zamasu simply by the fact that I doubted him earlier. I, I, I dogged on him, but somebody showed me a great Zamasu online, and I now know that Zamasu is actually kind of cracked not that bad of a character i'm starting to appreciate and respect him i'm starting to understand how he operates as a person and i appreciate that there is so much in the game that can be taken for granted nobody probably ever was going to pick android 19 or dr Jero. nobody was going to pick those characters but now you discover you can grab spam you can just grab spam and do some grabs and then get some health back and get that key down and now they're some of the highest picked characters in the japanese rankings nobody was going to pick giant characters nobody was going to play giants but now people struggled against grade 8 vegeta and they're saying well maybe giants are actually a lot harder to actually deal with and now we're thinking about it giants may actually be the the new meta in the game giants may do meta new meta pick whatever character you feel like play whoever you want to get great with them get get so good you discuss the online spectrum get so good you make everybody pissed and we're going against each other wait a minute hold on now what 
We got somebody like that. Goku wouldn't rage quit. That's beautiful. We love that. And hopefully he doesn't rage quit. We love to see it. And I'm happy about that. And this is a match I didn't even suspect to happen. This is just off the, the cusp of the rim. This is off the cusp of the rim. And I'm over the moon. We're about to have a great battle. And I'm excited to have this great battle. I'm excited to have this fundamental battle where we can test our skill against each other. And I'm happy to see that he's not that bad at the game. And I'm going to get my skill bars up because we're going to have a vanishing battle right now. And I can do this to get my skill bars up. We're both getting our skill bars up. Up, and that's really good and i'm happy about this i believe i'm gonna get him first yep because he didn't have that much to vanish back and that's good to know the fundamentals of the game and know how the game operates it feels fun and he's gonna hit me with this move no he's not because i know the fundamentals of the game and i got him back shots and he's going nuts and goku wouldn't rage quit so i hope he doesn't rage quit and now i'm gonna use after image strike in order to get the the leeway on him because i have a better character i consider this character to zamasu to be actually good now I used to dogpile him, annihilate him, insult him, say he was garbage, say he wasn't even worth my time. But now, I'm having fun. There's no giants so far. Look at this. This is Dragon Ball, baby. This is Dragon Ball Z. Look at the fact that there's no giants in the screen. There's no Wheelow. It's just two guys throwing fists back and forth at each other. And he got me. I'm amazed right now. He's doing great. And I'm going to switch on over to Goku Black. And now we both have Goku Black. Black on Black violent. We love to see it. We love seeing Black on Black violence in the game, guys. Don't shoot. He's not Black. Black. greatest joke of all time so funny haha ha. great we love to see it and now after this beam struggle and this little clash this little back and forth vanity thing you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna transform into goke ro go go K rose goku rose boom because i like this form a lot better mostly because he has a move that i appreciate bada bing bada boom this one which is an unblockable he probably didn't know it was an unblockable he's probably gonna transform into rose as well this is the finale go crazy on me hit me with that nonsense i'm so proud of you go ahead hit me with your greatest technique show me your skill show me your abilities and show me your power because i love seeing people that are great at the game and are good at it and feel that they can actually play the game and i love looking at this i love seeing people that are great and have fun just going back and forth and fighting and i i wish there was a way to to deal with the giants in a more constructive way besides picking them as a counter pick i wish there was a better way to do that but sadly at the current moment there is not that i can think of or that i can find and i love that and this black command man is probably gonna knock the crap out of me and i'm impressed and it didn't. And I get to hit him with this. And he doesn't know how to get out of this. And that's okay. Oh, there he goes. He actually got out of it. But sadly, he lost the match now. Because I hit him with my special. And that's okay. And he's fine for it. Oh, never mind. And I thought I had that. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. And I did. I counted my chickens before they hatch. And those chickens aren't going to hatch now. Because I'm going to get annihilated. And he's going crazy. And I'm going to transform into his Fusamasu. And I'm down one character. That means he took he technically took down one character. But I wanted to fuse because of the Patara. I just wanted to play as this character. And now I have the opportunity to play as Divine Justice Zamasu. I love this character. He's one of my favorites. I now get to play as a fusion character and while sacrificing too much DP. That's fun. I enjoy that. Boom. Hit him with that. He's just fun to play. And I enjoy him. I really appreciate this Zamasu. I like playing him. I really do. He's one of my favorites of all time. I just enjoy him. And hopefully he doesn't rage quit now that I have a fusion character and a team of three more people. I have three more people after this. I have Spopovich and all that jazz. He has Yajirobe. And I'm going to try my best to annihilate Yajirobe with all the power in my soul to take him out of the game. That's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to do my best to get him out of here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit him with everything I've got to make sure he can't use his Sensu Bean. To make sure he can't do anything in the game. And that's my goal right now. And that's the beauty of this game, figuring out fun little mechanics to figure out how the game operates and runs. That's my fun. That is my joy in the game. That is what I appreciate. That is the fun of it. And yes, you guys see me streaming, so you play giant characters. That is to go against other giant characters. That is to go against the nonsense of what I have to deal with all the time in this game. Because I'm dealing with Yajirobe, all this nonsense and all this thing, and a giant character right here. I'm dealing with this all the time. And it's difficult, and it's annoying, and it agitates me. It really does. It actually is one of the most annoying things on the planet to deal with this all the time. But I am going to do my best, and I promise you, I'm going to do my best to fight against these characters. I'm going to figure out a way to get past this one of these days, and hopefully this works. Hopefully I can get past them. Hopefully I can get past all this nonsense and gobbledygook. Hopefully this works one day. 
hopefully this this is a understandable thing where people can get past all these giant characters and they're not that big of an issue anymore hopefully this becomes a regular occurrence for this game where it's not littered by these these giants this this nonsense and that's okay it's okay that it's littered with it now because this is the early stages of the game this is where the game will find its footing we'll figure out what's going on with the game this is what the game will figure out is this really worth it this is what the game will do and you guys are probably like yeah he's really beating willow it's really fun he's beating willow and yeah i am beating willow right now i'm actually just as impressed as you are i am beating willow and i am destroying him and i am annihilating him and he is getting whooped and that is okay and i didn't hit this and i hit it and i'm so proud of myself I beat Willow, I beat Yajirobe, and now I gotta go against Fidel, all because of one fusion character. And I'm so happy that I got to play the character that I wanted to play, and I'm able to do this. And you're probably thinking to yourself, man, you're really, you're really, you're really actually not that bad at the game, huh? You're really not that bad at the game. I still suck at the game. I'm not at the level I want to be at, because I know my brother is, is somewhere out there, about to annihilate me in this game one day. I can feel it. And hopefully this Fidel takes out this Amasu with this move. I hope she does. That would be cool. That'd be amazing. I would have loved to see that, but sadly, now we gotta deal with the Master Roshi. Boom, Master Roshi's in there, and now we're gonna clash. It is so much in this game that is taken for granted. It is so much in this game that people don't wanna interact with the mechanics, they don't wanna learn about the game, and that's sad to me. That is just disgustingly sad. I want people to be able to enjoy the game in the way they want to enjoy it. I want people to be able to have fun with the game and realize that the mechanics of this game are going to interact with you, so you got to interact with the game. That's what I want. I appreciate you all for being here and watching the Dragon Ball Sparking videos. But I don't appreciate is people sending me messages saying all the hate about me. I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate people going out of their way to send hateful messages. That's not fun for me. It's not fun for you, I imagine, to just be mean and hateful and vitriolic and spiteful, I imagine. That just seems weird to do that, just to go out of your way to do that. Seems a bit odd, right? Seems a bit strange to just be mean to me for no good justifiable reason other than the fact that I'm playing a giant character. To just say that I don't deserve to live because I'm playing a giant character. That's that's a little weird, isn't it? That seems like you might need to get some help or seek God or something like that or something of that variety. That'd be beautiful to, for you to do that. I would appreciate that. Maybe you shouldn't go out of your way to send a hateful message to somebody that just wants to enjoy the game when they've had a hard day at work. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Wouldn't that be lovely? Just because you're online, you shouldn't be an asshole. Maybe because you're online, you can get away with being an asshole. And that's a little bit weird because you're playing a game and you think people don't have feelings and are not people because you can't see their faces, but you can see my face. So now you realize that your actual person going behind this is an actual person going behind and playing this with you. And you actually get to witness this. And it's not strange to actually have this. You should probably not be an asshole. That'd be great. I would love that, really, I would. But I can't control how you're going to act. I can't control you. That's for you and your mom to discuss. That's for you and your granddaddy to figure out with yourself. That's for you and God. Maybe Jesus knows your character, but I don't. And all I know is that you are people that have messaged me saying all these mean things, saying I only play Giants and stuff like that, and that I don't know how to play the game. Understandable. Great. I don't know how to play the game. I actually don't. I actually never played the game in my life. I have no idea. All these videos I'm making are completely worthless and they mean nothing to anyone. Hopefully I helped somebody out. Hopefully I helped you get your win rate up. Hopefully I helped you get past the Giants. Hopefully this video in some capacity helps you pick the character you want to play. Play who you want to play. Play whoever you want to play. Play anything. Play everyone. Play the characters that make you feel powerful. And guess what? I won the match. I won the match picking who I wanted to play. Because I really wanted to play these characters. No Yajirobe. I did want Master Roshi because I actually do love Master Roshi. I wanted to play Goku Black and Zamasu. That's what I wanted. And that's what I got. Thank you guys so much for checking out my video. I'm out. Peace. Bye.